Good afternoon to those who listen. It is May 12, 2018, 1.41 p.m. And I want to tell you about some dreams I had. Uh, first off, I want to say that my back is doing a lot better. My lower back, middle back are doing a lot better. I do notice that it hurts a little bit when I sit in a certain chair, so I'm trying not to sit in a chair too long. Um, my shoulders and neck are still very stiff but it feels a lot better than it did it feels sore but I can handle that as long as it gets back to where it should be so thank you for that Jesus all right so I had these dreams and uh, you know the it might be three dreams but actually the first one I, I was I was okay let me I took a muscle relaxer last night went to bed and I slept really good until 8 a.m. And I was dreaming of something. I don't remember any of it. But I remember there was that I wasn't seeing anything, but I heard this voice say, your 14-year-old is dead. And I, it woke me up immediately, and I was like, what in the world? So I had to uh, call my uh, ex or text to her, and then she called me, and we talked about it. But he's like, she's like, well, he's not 14 yet. He's only 13 right now. He won't be 14 until September. But anyway, so then I went back to bed, and then I had this dream. All right. And I wrote it all down as best I could. <clears throat> I don't know where I was. I was in some city, I'm guessing. I could see the, the businesses all down the street, so it looked like it was busy. I was at a bank, and I was putting in $50 into my account. Um, I had $10 bills. I had at least three $10 bills. I'm not sure if they were all $10 bills, four of them, whatever. But I think at least three of them were $10 bills. And the teller knew I was putting in $50. So I said, well, did you put it in? She says, no, you haven't given me the money yet. So then I went to get my money. And for some reason, it was in my shirt pocket. I, I was like, I had a button-down shirt and I had a, a, a pocket and I rarely wear button-down shirts, and I would never put money in a shirt pocket. And I remember saying that to myself, you know, I never do that. And I told the teller, I never put money in my shirt pocket. You know, I could lose it that way. So she took the money, and she set it down, and then she, for some reason, went away for a minute. And the security guard came over and grabbed one of the $10 bills. It was an older $10 bill. And I said, hey, what are you doing? And he went over to a computer. And he was checking to see if it was worth anything. And then the teller came back and I said, oh, uh, the security guard took one of the $10 bills. He's checking to see if it's worth anything. And then right then the lights went out and then they announced that the bank was on a lockdown. And I said, oh, great, it's a Friday. And I remember cause there was something to do with Fridays that something could happen, you know, like a, a blackout or something could happen on a Friday. I don't know. It's just something I saw and something. Oh, it was on X Files, is what it was. They said that the government would purposely do something on the on the Friday, so then everything would be down for the whole weekend, and nothing would be back up and running until Monday of the next week. So that's where that came from. So maybe that was important after all, because I did two videos already. The first video, sh you know, shut down on me, and the second video I did, I forgot to add that thing about the the weird voice I heard saying that my son was dead. Well, he didn't say son, but that's the only, it's the only kid I have. I got one kid, 16 or 18, 16, 13 and eight. So nobody's close to 14 except for my third son. So, um, so anyway, okay, go back to the dream. Um, I remember looking at the clock and I think it was like two twelve or two fourteen, something like that in that area. So um, when that happened, everybody was like panicking, and I knew in my head, I was like, you know, don't be near the doors, don't be near the front door, don't be near the back door, and then mingle with the crowd, get with the crowd. I'm guessing it's an instinct thing saying, you know, you're in better odds if you're with a group than if you were alone. I'm guessing that's what that happened. So I remember looking out the door, and there was a business next door, it looked like a restaurant, and I don't know what it was, but it didn't look like McDonald's or anything like that on the big chains. So what I assumed it could be is a crystal. I'm not sure. 
And if you don't know what Crystal is, it's like a White Castle. They have those like slider hamburgers. <clears throat> They're mainly in the South. So maybe that's a clue to something too, but I don't know. Um, anyway, so uh, I looked out, when I looked out at the, out the door, there was people outside and they didn't seem concerned about anything. And there was a security guard outside that was just like looking around, didn't seem concerned either. I noticed that it was snowing just flurries and then as far as I know that dream ended I woke up did something and then I went back to bed and then I had this dream and this dream seemed to be like it was uh, continuing from the last dream except that I, like I was a little bit further back in time I was at the bank again and I looked over at the clock and it said 203 and I knew I had to hurry so I hurried up and did what I you know, had to do putting the money in the bank. And then I told all the people in there to be careful between two and four just to like cover the time. And I didn't know if it was going to be that day or another day. So I told to tell them to be careful every day between two and four. And mainly, I guess, between two and two thirty, but I don't know. Sorry, it seems like I'm shaking a lot, but I'm really not. Um, it's because I'm zoomed in. I'm trying to stay away from the door, trying to stay away from the sun so it doesn't overheat. Sorry about that. And so uh, I told the people, you know, to be careful. Then I left the, the bank and went outside and I saw the security guards out there. They were all dressed as SWAT teams or maybe possibly National Guard. And I told them to be careful, you know, something could be happening. And they kind of just said, yeah, yeah, okay. Like they didn't take me seriously. I started uh, walking down the, the sidewalk you know, away from the bank, away from that restaurant too. And I was going to my car, I'm guessing. And another car pulled up right alongside the curb. And uh, a, a woman got out and it was an old friend of mine from Florida, Sharon. And I was like, what are you doing here? Let me go back to there we go. Uh, and she, I don't think she answered me, but I said, I must be dreaming. And I asked her, do you know where we're at? And she said no. And then, uh, but I remember she saying that she wanted to go with me. Like she wanted to go where I was going for some reason. And that was pretty much it for that dream. Uh, I don't know if this is part of the same dream or if it was a separate dream. It might be the same. I'm thinking it's the same. But I was on my computer and I was looking on the computer and saw that the NCAA tournament, March Madness, started. So I'm guessing it was, must have been 2019 is what this was. And... On the computer, I was looking at the games that were already that were on that day. One of them was completed. One of them was almost over, but not quite completed. And there was two that were haven't started yet. So I recorded the two games, and then I recorded the one that was in progress. And I noticed the score on the second game was Tennessee. Tennessee was ahead, was blowing out whoever they were playing. It was almost over, so it wasn't, you know, they had the game won. It was just, you know, wasn't quite over yet. The score I thought I saw, I'm not sure, but it looked like it was 77 to 41. So I don't know if that has any significance either. And then that's when everything ended. So then I went up and I was looking for stuff to see when the NCAA tournament started for next year. So if it was a Friday, which I said in my first dream, then that would be day two of round one and... It would be March 20, Friday, March 22nd, 2019. Now I'm going to go over here, and I looked up some of the, darn it, I'm on the wrong thing. Hopefully it'll load. I looked up the, the sites for where uh, the games would take place on Friday, March 22nd, and here they are. Tulsa, Oklahoma, Columbus, Ohio, Columbia, South Carolina, and San Jose, California. So I was going through those, and which would be, you know, a, where it could be snowing on March 22nd. San Jose, California, I really doubt it'd be snowing there. Columbia, South Carolina, I don't think it would be snowing there. Tulsa, Oklahoma, I don't, you know, it's possible, but I don't think it, I don't think it would be. So Columbus, Ohio was like the, the main one where I, oh, I could see it snowing on March 22nd. And then I think they also have crystals there too, so I don't know. <laughs> but that's what I came up with. Out of that, if uh, anybody has any ideas of what this could possibly mean, 
if it you know if it does have anything to relate to that March twenty second or not. But you know, I actually told my son to tell my younger son to skip school on March twenty second next year, and he thought I what what is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, I think that's it. So I'm gonna. You know, I'm looking back through these because I wrote everything down. And as I was writing it down, more things were coming to me that I remembered. So, I uh, um, the one thing I, when they put the lockdown on, in my head I thought it was nationwide. I don't know if I said that or not, and not localized. I don't know. Again, I don't know. But yeah, I guess that's about it. But. That's all I can remember, but it was weird because I had a dream, woke up, and then went back to bed, and it was like the continuing, or it was you know the continuing of the of the dream sequence, I guess, even though it was like a little bit further back in time, because the second dream I knew ahead of time that something was going to happen, so I hurried up and got out of there. Strange. If anybody has any thoughts or ideas or what it could mean, please leave a comment. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. God bless.